Good morning, Maria. How have things been? Hi, Karen. Things are busy, but I can't complain. How are you? How's Alex been doing? Oh, he's doing really well, thanks to all of your helpful tips. <laughs> I can't thank you enough. For once, I actually don't need advice. <laughs> but I do have a friend that does. No problem. I'd love to help. What's the situation? Well, my friend Susan's daughter, Melissa, was just diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. Susan had a developmental pediatrician evaluate Melissa, and he gave her the diagnosis. In a way, Susan seems relieved. She's wondered for a long time if there was something more to Melissa's social awkwardness and puzzling behaviors. Many parents are relieved when someone can finally explain why their child is struggling. Well, now that Susan has a diagnosis for Melissa, she's trying to figure out where to go for help. At the pediatrician's suggestion, she had her local school district evaluate Melissa. They identified her as a student in need of special education services. However, Melissa doesn't attend public school. She goes to a private school in the city. Can she still get an IEP? Is there something in the procedural safeguards that covers kids in private schools? If Melissa remains exclusively in the private school, she will not be able to get an IEP. Private schools are not mandated to follow the Individuals with Disabilities in Education Act, which means they don't have to provide the students with an IEP or special education services. As far as the public school's responsibility to private school students, well, the procedural safeguards state that school districts are responsible for identifying private school students with disabilities, but they're not required to provide services to them. This all sounds so confusing. So, is there any way at all that Susan can get services for her daughter? I had a friend in a similar situation a few years ago, so I can understand how confusing this can be. It is possible for private school students to receive special education services from the school district. One way is to dual enroll the child in the public school. This means the child attends the private school as usual, but also goes to the public school to receive any special education services that have been agreed to. Parents sometimes choose this option if they want to ensure their child gets services like speech or occupational therapy, but still be educated in the private school setting. Okay. So, dual enrollment. Got it. Um, are there any other options? Well. If the private school participates in something called equitable participation with the local intermediate unit, the child may be able to receive services that way. Equitable participation? Equitable participation means that the private school, in agreement with the intermediate unit, chooses to provide certain services to qualifying students. Usually the services offered are those that will be beneficial to most kids at the school. Things like speech therapy, for example. I see. So, how does a parent find out if their child's private school has an equitable participation agreement in place? The best way is to talk with the administrator of the private school. He or she can explain if the school has an equitable participation agreement with the IU and what services are provided under that agreement. Keep in mind that equitable participation agreements are voluntary. The private school can choose not to participate, even if there is funding available. Interesting. Okay, so are there any other options that I can share with Susan? Well. I guess the only other option is that she can withdraw Melissa from private school altogether and send her to the local public school. That way, she's sure to get an IEP and the services she needs. Okay, I think I have it. Do you mind if I give Susan a quick call before we catch up further? She's been so stressed. You know, I think this information will really put her mind at ease. At least a little bit. <laughs> Go right ahead. I'm glad I could help. <laughs> Hey, Susan? Yeah, I about that problem that you're having with Melissa. I think that I have some really good solutions for you.